here from Saga Custom Sabers and I'm here to show you one of my newest sabers. This one I'm calling Warrior. Uh, it's a very utilitarian saber meant for a, sa uh, a Jedi who does a lot of fighting with his lightsaber. So this one's built with a Nano Biscotti sound card. It's got a chassis to hold it so it's nice and sturdy. Um, and the kill key is right here so I can pull the kill key and hit the activation button on this upper switch plate here. And it's this nice kind of bright purple color. Uh, this is using Mad Cow's Rogue sound font, which is my personal favorite by him. I think it just works really well, especially for uh, kind of a combat heavy saber. It's just a cool sound font. It sounds kind of aggressive, but still still like a light side font. Um, and so because this is a Nano Biscotti, it's got flash on flash, of course. So this one has a bright white flash on flash. Swing sounds. And it's nice and loud because it's got this heavy kind of construction so you don't get a lot of lo vibration loss on the inside. Um, and the 28 millimeter speaker's got some room in there so it's a, a good resonant sound. So, thank you. This is Warrior. Okay, so we're going to take a closer look at this saber here. So this one I'm calling Warrior uh, because it's got a really kind of heavy utilitarian design. It's got this nice knurling pattern on both of the grips and the custom powder coatings is a really durable black paint. Uh, it's got this heavy switch plate. Uh, it's got the activation switch and the, the recharge port with the kill key on it. This custom cut shroud up here kind of similar to what you would see on maybe uh, some of the sabers from the, the prequel trilogy with the like the kind of New Republic style. Uh, it's got medium to kind of heavy weathering. You can see some in here uh, down near the bottom and then a little bit of silver chipping kind of on the grips and on the cover tech wheel here so you can clip this onto your belt. Um, this one has uh, some acid etching on the bottom so it's got this really kind of cool pattern here with this nice symbol maybe represents you know a, a star port or something in Star Wars. It's kind of uh, my own design uh, with the four lines. It just looks really utilitarian and classic. Uh, so this one has a, a chassis on the internals so that everything's nice and sturdy. So we can unscrew right here. This bottom section comes off. You can see the chassis here um, using the Nano Biscotti sound card. Um, and so it's just locked in with this kind of uh, threaded gender changer section here. Um, so it holds it. It's nice and tight. It's got the 28 millimeter speaker, rechargeable battery, um, and ob obviously the recharge ports up here. So this is, this is sturdy. You can duel with this, and you don't have to worry about damaging any of the internals. So we can screw this bottom part back on. Um, and it's in sleep mode right now because the kill key is in. So we can pull the kill key, and you hear the boot up sound. And then we can do the blade retention screw, slide the blade in, and tighten the blade retention screw up, and hit the activation button. And so this one's this nice bright purple, um, and it uses the Rogue sound font from Mad Cow. Of course, you can pull the, the SD card out of the Nano Biscotti, and you can put whatever sound fonts you want on there. You can get them from saberfont.com. That's where I get all of my sound fonts. I like I prefer, I personally prefer the sound the sound fonts from Mad Cow. I think his are just really well built for all the Plecto Labs boards, which is what I use. So this one has the, the nice purple color and it's got flash on clash. Kind of this is bright white flash on clash. Um, it's just a really nice kind of utilitarian style. And uh, hopefully the owner of this saber loves it as much as I do. I love building this one. Um, I've always been a fan of the, the lightsabers and the lightsaber combat in the, the prequel trilogy. I think it's some of the best done. I think the lightsaber design is just really uh, kind of my style. So this has been a fun one to build and work on, and I, uh, I hope the next person enjoys it as much as I do. Thank you very much. <laughs>